Welcome back to another video guys. Now I'm going to see myself a photography challenge for this episode. As you can see here we have the all new Fujifilm 8mm prime lens. Now just for reference, uh, I've actually shot a lot of the content on this channel on the absolute dragon's egg of a lens, the 8 to 16 millimeter. Now this is big, it's heavy, it takes up so much room in my camera bag, it's the sort of thing you can't really put in your pocket if you're walking. So to be able to have a dedicated 8mm prime from Fujifilm, it's really, really useful. There we have it. The size of the lens instantly, you can tell, is drastically smaller than the 8-16mm. Now for reference, when I'm using the 8-16mm, I would almost always shoot it at 8mm anyway. There's the ability now with the resolution in both the X-H2S and X-H2 to crop in if you need. So to have that extra focal length is probably not really necessary. My other lens that I go to is the 16 to 55. So the difference in focal length between 8 millimeters and 16 millimeters, I'm able to actually make up by cropping in. Now, if I think I'm very run and gun, being able to carry this with me over this is just a huge benefit. This is actually the sort of lens that I'm probably going to throw in my pocket and go walking with if I need an additional lens. In terms of the weight of both of these, 8 to 16 is 814 grams and the 8 millimeter is 223. I can't think of any specific situation where I'm going to pick up this fella unless I want to make most of the 2.8 aperture. It gives you an extra stop of light or half a stop of light. In terms of that benefit compared to the size and the weight and the portability of this, it just makes a whole lot more sense. Now I mentioned at the start of this video that I am going to be doing a little bit of a challenge around this lens. So everything in this episode other than the stuff up here is going to be shot on the 8mm. I'm going to be shooting a variety of photo and video content so let's see how it performs. I'd like to give a quick shout out to the Double Vision Boys from New Zealand. They focus heavily on cinematic storytelling through FPV aerial work and successfully captured all of this FPV footage that you're seeing now. They've done some work for Fujifilm before when the X-H2S was released with the video linked in the description. All of the footage that you're seeing now is stabilized at 2% in DaVinci Resolve. Not only has the XF 8mm been a treat out in the field, but it has also been a great addition to top-down studio work. A sneak preview of the next video coming, along with my recent Lake Wanaka on film video, shows that this lens works well for achieving some vast perspectives when it comes to unboxing videos and breakdowns. I found the autofocus to be responsive, and I'm looking forward to the product priority focus mode to be brought over to the XH2S from the XS20 in due course. Not only this, but the size and the weight of this lens makes it perfect for travelling, which takes me on to my next scene. Another form of photography that the XF 8mm excels at is travel photography. Now I'm going to explain where I am in a completely other video and what the gist of what I'm up to, but for now I am at Tanner Lot in Bali and just playing around at sunset time so let's jump in.
I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I will give you a full rundown of what I'm going to be up to over the next few months. But yeah, hope you enjoyed and I will see you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>